Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Welcome to Spiritual Psychic. I'm Sarah Wiseman. Today we're talking about why do we have to fail and why is failure important? And we're working from Messages from the Divine, the book. And this is Lesson 7, Failure is a Part of Your Experience. So, we are taught in this culture, in this society, that all we need to do is keep succeeding. One success after another. That's what society would have us believe. From the time we're babies until the time we die, we're supposed to do everything right all of the time. And of course, the crazy thing is, you know, depending on what culture you're from, doing everything right could be vastly different ideas, right? Depending on what time you're born in, doing everything right could be vastly different. I was out at a a little farm stand thing uh, the other day, and there were some parents in their 30s, and they were parenting their children. And they were saying things that I certainly didn't ever say to my children, and I was certainly never said to by my own parents. Different ways, different culture, different times. Not different culture, but different times. And so this idea of what society says is right is always shifting. So we can't count on anything that society says as being worthwhile. And this idea especially of you must have success, success, success. You must keep moving. You must keep achieving. There can be no breaks. (laughs) There can be no failure. There can be no integration. You cannot stop. Just go out and succeed and achieve. Okay, well, that is just silly in messages from the divine the book talks about failure is a part of your experience and and the guides say failure is growing soul growth always happens when you risk trying or experiencing something new and it is true many times when you try a new thing you fail You don't grasp the golden ring. You lose the guy or the girl. You're a minute too late. Nobody shows up. And this is to be celebrated. Not punished or to be ashamed of. It's to be celebrated. Not for the failure, which is simply success not having happened yet. But because you tried something new, you extended yourself and expanded yourself to a new vision. Now, you know, I don't recall how many times, but I hear there's Thomas Edison took many, many, many times to invent some of his inventions. So from human perspective, we would be like, well, thank gosh he got it finally, otherwise his life would have been a failure. You know, if his final invention didn't work out, the one that he was celebrated for. However, uh, the guides, collective soul, they they don't agree with this assessment. They would say, that soul, Thomas Edison's soul, always trying, always expanding, always exploring, that is the true success of the soul to push the edge, not whether there is success or failure at the end, but the act of expansion is what matters. The act of expansion. And for some people, it's very different for some person, for some people, it might be enough to simply get out of bed in the morning. That's it. That's, that's what they can do right now where they are. And for another person, it might be to travel the world. For one person, it might be enough to, you know, get stay in school. 
And for another person, it might be they go and get a PhD. It doesn't really matter. The idea is not the achievement that matters. It is the expansion. It is the risk that you take in the expansion. It is your desire to be learning and growing. We've been working from messages divine from the divine, the book. You can find out more about me, Sarah Wiseman, and the book at sarahwiseman.com.